I'm Kristana here. I'm going to be showing you Facebook ads, beginner to expert. I'll also be showing you a little ways through the video, one of my ads that actually made me hundreds of thousands of dollars as an affiliate marketer for a product that I don't even own by putting those ads on Facebook to drive sales for a product that I was an affiliate of. But first I want to go over, or we need to go over some basic vocabulary first. So what's important to know is these terms up here are absolutely necessary to know. You need to know these terms before we get started. And then I'm going to go over three other vocabulary terms which are more advanced terminology but will help take your ad campaigns to the moon if you understand how these three terms factor in to your business. Now the first important term to know in Facebook advertising is what a campaign is. Now an ad campaign, campaign is a word that comes from like war campaigns. They would launch a, you know, basically a, a campaign is a big march, you know, like people would focus on taking over a country from a certain direction. An ad campaign is focusing on getting revenue for its particular product or product category or whatnot. Now a campaign is the fundamental kind of structural element of launching your ads. This is kind of the, the folder where all of your ads will fall under is the campaign. So when you first set up a campaign, and I'll be showing you on my computer in a second, we'll start with a campaign. The next is an ad set. An ad set is where all the magic happens. It's where you define the targeting for the ad and you define who the ad gets shown to. Now if I'm selling markers for instance, I would need to target people who are interested in markers or who, you know, use whiteboards or what have you, who do presentations. You know, maybe I target teachers, but that's where you define who sees your ad. And if you're showing your ads to the wrong people, if you're showing ads for dog toys to cat people, you're not going to make any money. In fact, you're going to lose a lot of money if you're doing that sort of advertising. So a lot of stuff happens on the ad set level, as I said, the targeting. And last but not least is the ad. The ad is the actually the, you know, the picture, the video and the text that the end user sees on Facebook when they're browsing on their news feed or they're browsing throughout Facebook. The ad needs to be well crafted. It needs to be something that captures people's attention in order to get them to click and buy on your website or input a lead form, whatever type of advertising you're doing. So let's get right on to things. I'll go over some of the more advanced terminology in just a second here. So now the first thing that you need to do when you're going to start advertising on Facebook, and I want to make clear Facebook is one of the most wonderful places to advertise. You can reach billions of people. I mean, it's insane to me how many people I see, I see entire families sitting at dinner and every person in the entire family is staring at their phone and oftentimes people are staring at Facebook. Facebook has taken over the minds and souls of people to a scary and frightening degree but it's a great place to advertise hence why it makes so much money. I'm going to show you how to turn that attention that people have unfortunately turned away from their families into money for your business, leads or sales, etc. Now the first thing is you need to go to business.facebook.com and if you can zoom in on my screen you'll see business.facebook.com. You can go to Google and you can type in Facebook ads, okay? And Facebook ads, the first result will be taking you to where you can advertise on Facebook. Okay. So to start, you'll need to either log into Facebook or create an account. So if you haven't already created an account on Facebook, most people in the world have. So here we are in my Facebook ads manager and you'll see, you know, you can set up multiple accounts, you can set security, but we're going to go into one of my ad accounts right here and we're actually going to look at the ads. So here we are in one of my Facebook ads account and you'll see it's separated by those three main setups that are structural elements that I said, campaigns, ad sets, and ads, okay? You can do an account overview as well, but we're going to focus on this. Now to get started advertising on Facebook, you need to go into this big green button, very visible, that says create, okay? So we go there. And here you'll be taken to a screen where you can create ads. Now there's a ton of different 
This is where most people get lost because there's about 10 different objectives that you can choose from and you know most people get overwhelmed by options but you aren't my dear jet setters because we're going to go over what the best way to set up is for making money and getting leads or sales to your business. Okay, so our marketing objective is very simple. I always start with the most basic one which is traffic, okay? So I suggest you do traffic as well. Um, again, if you're doing, you know, if you're going for app installs or videos or leads, you can try these other things. But even if you're doing leads, leads allows you to do the lead forms, which means you can capture people's information via Facebook. But to really use that, you need to have some sort of integration with your CRM. So if you're running, most of you are running small businesses, the probability is you're running a small business, you probably just want to go for traffic because integrations take time and technical experience. Now another really good feature which I like is Facebook messages and you can actually send people messages or try to get people to message you using their messaging feature. This is a real good way if you are a solopreneur running a business, you can encourage people to send you messages so you can interact with them in real time. Now I do affiliate marketing, you know, I, I sell other people's products and earn a commission because, you know, frankly, I don't want to always be at my desk, you know, answering messages. So we're going to go with we're going to go with traffic right here. Now, once you click on traffic, you can scroll down here and you'll see there's, you know, some different different elements. Now, all you really have to worry about is doing the name of the campaign here. So, I would just name it whatever whatever you want, you know, traffic test, you know, one or whatever, and then click the continue button right here. Don't worry about these elements for now. I just always go like that. Okay, now once we click on our traffic objective and we set that, what we come down to is our ad set, okay? So I'm gonna zoom in here so you guys can see it. And what's interesting to note is that you can see the audience size that you're targeting. This is something that we're gonna keep in mind for later. Now this brings me to some of my advanced vocabulary which is helpful to know. This advanced vocabulary will help you when you're setting up your targeting in this step. The first useful piece of vocabulary to know is custom audience. Now a custom audience, what that is, is it means it's an audience that is really custom to your, you and your business. Now what you can do is if you have a website that people are already visiting, you can put Facebook's pixel, which we'll explain in a second, but basically you can have Facebook send ads to the people who are already visiting your business. Or if you have a fan page or a group or something like that set up, you can have Facebook advertise to people that are already fans of your page or who are already liking or following your page or your group on Facebook. This can be a real powerful source of traffic because you're showing ads to people who are already engaged with you. Now the other use for a custom audience, which is really exciting, is you can actually upload a list of people who have bought your product or if you've put the Facebook pixel on your site, you can just have Facebook create, you know, they track the buyers of your product. Or if you're advertising for another company, you can upload a list of people who have bought their product and Facebook will automatically match up the people who have already bought the product you're trying to sell with other people that will be interested in buying the product through their artificial intelligence algorithms. It's really advanced and works extremely well. So what I just mentioned about matching up the buyers of people who have bought your product or have bought the company whose product you're marketing with new buyers, that is called a lookalike audience. You can build lookalike audiences are contingent on custom audiences. So if you upload a list of, let's say, a hundred people who have already bought a product, let's say this marker, what Facebook will do is Facebook will look for who looks like those people who have bought this marker. What similarities do they have in common? Are they all teachers? Are they in school? Are they out of school? Are they in the top 10% of earning? Are they in the bottom 10% of earners? 
Are they, you know, are they of a certain ethnicity? Are they white, black, Asian, Hispanic? Do they identify as Republican or Democrat? Facebook will look at all of the different demographics and information about that person or those people and they will magically create an audience of people that will be interested in buying whatever product you're selling. Pretty neat, huh? The last term is Facebook Pixel. And a Facebook Pixel, it's a piece of code that you put on your site so that Facebook can understand what the demographics of people who are visiting your site and also so that Facebook can build a custom audience around the people who have a tendency to visit your site. It also allows you to track to see if your ads created any buyers or leads. This is very helpful to determine if you spent $100, did you make $100 back? Very important to have these, but not fully necessary just to get started. If these go over your head, please type in the comments, over my head, too complicated. If all of these terms are understood and I explained them well, type in understood in the comments. And also, if you're getting value from this video already and if you're excited to learn Facebook ads, please slam that subscribe button, slam that like button, and get notified of future videos that I'm doing because I've been doing advertising for over 10 years now and I can go over this stuff all day. And I've made millions of dollars in my business because of the wonderful, wonderful advantages that knowing advertising has given me. So here we are back on my computer and we can define an audience right here as you see where it says create new audience and custom audiences. So you can click create new audience and you can upload a new custom audience or you can use a saved audience. Now in my case, you know, I have a bunch of saved audiences that I can use. So I can use people who have already visited my website right here if I wanted to, okay? Now, I'm not necessarily gonna do that right now. I'm just gonna walk you through, I'm gonna assume that you don't have any audience so far, that you're just getting started in your business. Maybe you wanna reach more people in your business, or maybe you're just starting a business and you wanna start selling products, but you don't have anybody come into your business yet. Facebook ads is a great way to reach them, and I'll show you how. So the first setup is location, okay? Location. You'll edit your locations and generally speaking, I sell digital products so I can sell anywhere in the world and my favorite locations to start with are Australia, New Zealand, Canada and sometimes I like to add in other countries that are pretty, you know, good countries that I know that convert well for my product such as Bahamas. Puerto Rico, Jamaica, Seychelles, Hong Kong, and Singapore. So that's the audience I'll start with. Now, as you may have noticed, my audience size went up. Okay, my audience size is now almost 300 million people. That's a lot of people. Now, I'm not going to do very well on advertising if I'm advertising to 300 million people, nor do I have that sort of money to advertise to that many people. So I'm going to work on getting that down so that I can focus on only the most important people that have the highest chance of buying whatever product I'm selling. Now for this example, let's say I'm selling a, let's start with a woodworking product. I'm going to pick a random product from an affiliate network I work with called Ted's Woodworking. So we're going to search for the top products here. And as we'll see, we see Ted's Woodworking, okay? This is one of the top products on ClickBank and I can make about $55 per sale. And I can also make, if you notice, about $90 from recurring subscription revenue. So that's pretty good. I can make about 145 bucks just by selling this woodworking product but I'll need to find people who are interested in woodworking. So now for our example, I'm actually going to, I'm just gonna advertise an affiliate product. I'm just gonna find a random product by going to ClickBank, which is my favorite affiliate network, and uh, it's a place where you can find digital products to sell, and I'm just gonna click on the affiliate marketplace right here. Okay, then I'm gonna click this search button, and we notice that the number one product right here is one called the Flat Belly Fix. 
Okay, so what we'll notice is it pays about $40 per sale and you don't make a lot of recurring revenue as you can see right there, but we get that $40 per sale. I'm going to focus on the weight loss niche. Now at this point, we kind of have four different ways we can figure out the targeting for our ads and this takes research. Now the first option, which is the worst, is just guess, just blindly guess of what you think the ages and the demographics of people looking to lose weight are. Well, we might figure, you know, they're women, they're older than 35, you know, they're interested in weight loss or something like that. But that'll be guesswork and we want to go about it a little more systematically about that. So that brings us to the second and third methods, which would be looking at the actual JV page of the affiliate product of the product that we are marketing. Or you could substitute that for if you're working with a client of actually asking them what sort of people you know, they see converting for their product. Now the fourth method is the one I like the most. And the fourth method is not guessing, is not even going off of what the product owner thinks their audience is. It's actually getting a custom audience of buyers to upload to Facebook and then create a lookalike audience off of that. Now I'm gonna assume that you don't have a custom audience, that you don't have buyers for whatever product you're promoting yet. So you can't create a lookalike audience, but I'm letting you know this so that in the future, when you do have people buying your product or when, if you're working with a company who does have buyers for their product, creating that custom audience, creating that lookalike audience is very powerful. Now I'm not going to spend time going over how to create those on my computer right now, but this is the most powerful form of Facebook advertising. It's a bit more advanced. Most people are not in a position to do this, but it works very well. And it's how I've been very successful in my marketing efforts. But since we don't have a custom audience of buyers, we're going to have to guess. Well, first we're going to go to the JV page of the flat belly fix. And we see the JV page right here or called affiliate page. We click that and we have the flat belly fix right here. We're going to go here and they don't have information on the actual demographics of people right here. So I'm going to actually, I'll click for the email swipe, but I'm going to find a similar product to do my research on. So I'm just going to look for other products in the weight loss niche. And in this case, I know of a similar one, fat decimator system. And that's right here. And let's look at their JV page or affiliate page. So here's a little better affiliate page right here and we see a, a bunch of interesting information right here. Here's the product creator, Wesley Virgin. Wesley Billion Dollar Virgin, that's what he goes by. But what's interesting right here, we see customer demographics, okay? So we're going to click on that. Now here we are in the customer demographics and I'm going off of the assumption that the people buying this weight loss product are similar to people buying the other weight loss product that I'm going to be advertising. So we see that the market is 80% female, right? 80% female. So I'm going to go to my Facebook ads and what I'm going to select is I'm going to go under gender right here. I'm going to click edit. Then I'm just going to click women. Easy. We just reduced our audience by half. So that's pretty good. So we're getting it down. Now let's, let's see if we can go further. We also see that the audience is 60% between the ages of 40 to 59. Woo! This is going to help us out a lot. So I'm going to go back to Facebook and I'm going to click age right here. 40 to 59. Boom! We just reduced our audience by over two thirds. Let's keep going. Now, if you've, if you've been getting value from this so far, please make sure you subscribe, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and type in the comments, value, value, baby, because we're gonna keep going, we're gonna keep bringing this down, and we're gonna get this targeted until we have a working, winning campaign right here. So let's keep going. So here we are looking at the top converting countries, and we see United States, Australia, Canada, New Zealand are on the list. But here's what's even more interesting is the top converting states. We have some of the top converting states here. So if we wanted to really get narrowed down, we can actually just target the top converting states and give ourselves an additional advantage. So let's, let's try to do that. 
California, Washington, Colorado, and Texas. So let's go right here. So we're going to go up here and we're actually going to click X to United States and we're going to type in California, Washington, Colorado, Texas, and we're just going to do a couple more. Florida, New York, South Carolina. Okay, so I added in a number of U.S. states that are the top converting states in the U.S. And we've got our audience down even further to 21 million people. So we've got a much more specific targeting of people who are more likely to convert because we know we got this data from the advertiser. So let's keep going. So what's interesting here is that most of the, most of the people who are buying, over 50% of people are on desktop computers. So one interesting statistic that I brought up that I know in my head, but I'm going to let you know, is that mobile versus desktop traffic, more visits come from mobile devices in the entire world or just on the internet than from actual desktop computers. So given that information, I find it kind of surprising that desktops send more sales to this weight loss program than mobile devices. Now, the way my mind goes is that if more people are using mobile devices than desktop computers, yet more people are buying on desktop computers than mobile devices of these weight loss programs, then it must be much better to advertise on desktop computers because you'd think if more people are using mobile devices, you'd want to advertise more on mobile devices, but that's not the case. So given that really simple information, we're going to advertise on desktop computers. We're going to focus our ads there so that we only get people who are going to have the best chance of actually buying the product that we are selling here. So given that information, when it comes to selecting what devices we show our ads on, I'm going to change it to desktop only. But let's keep going down. Now we can get more detailed targeting here. We can slay all demographics, interests, and behaviors. But given this, I'm going to actually see if there's more information on how I can target these people. So let's see if I have particular interests that people are interested in. So we have a lot of data from people from this affiliate program that tells us about these customers, but nothing that specifically tells us the interests. So what I'm going to type in is I'm just going to type in weight loss. Okay. And I'm going to say interests in extreme weight loss. And what we see here is we moved our audience down to 28,000 people. We can add in more weight loss related things. We can add in weight loss fitness and wellness, you know, coach Mindy weight loss. So we can add in different sects of people that are interested in weight loss. So now our targeting is getting much more defined. We're only targeting high converting states. We're targeting people in the only the age ranges that are more likely to buy. We're targeting people in the gender likely to buy, buy excuse me, that was weird. So we're going there. Let's keep going downwards. We only want to target people who are speaking English. So we'll go in here and we'll target English. Now, these are all targeting options. And again, it depends on what you're selling. So next we come down to placements and we'll see placements. Now you can select all these different placements. I generally keep my ads to just Facebook itself. Now the audience network, a little bit about that. It just means Facebook will go far beyond Facebook. They'll go all over the internet to advertise, which I don't necessarily trust. And Instagram and Facebook Messenger are just, they're just very different. So I don't trust those as much. I, tr I tend to start my ads on Facebook and then I expand them to these other elements. Okay. So we're going to keep our ads here. We're going to scroll down and you can, you can turn off certain ad units if you want. Can learn more about these ad units um, by you know just googling them use google but generally speaking you want to keep your ads to the news feed okay just going to turn off stories as well so let's scroll down and we have more options here so let's go on more options and i'm going to select only desktop devices so i select this and then i go into devices 
and then I'm going to select, sorry, the devices is right here and it's right below edit placements and we'll select, we'll deselect mobile so it's only advertising on desktop devices. Now you'll notice our audience is actually very well defined at 180,000 people and it's in the green zone right there so that we've got pretty solid targeting for people who are interested in weight loss, they're the right age group, all of that stuff, they're in the right locations. So we're gonna go down here and the next step is to actually set the budgets. Now generally speaking, I keep the budgets, I, I just let Facebook set the budgets. It's kind of scary, I didn't grow up doing this, but this is an optional thing so you don't actually need to fill this out. I think a good budget to set per day is what Facebook recommends at $20. Or what you could do is you could set a lifetime budget and say you only want to test $100. That would be fine as well. We're just going to say daily, okay? We're going to watch this, okay? So that's how you set up a Facebook ad targeting. The next step is to actually set up the ad. And that's where we come to, we set up our campaign, we set up our ad set, which as you see takes a lot of research and there's some advantages you can have if you have custom audiences and lookalike audiences. By the way, if you become a student of mine, I have a six week training course on how to do affiliate marketing. I actually give away buyers lists in all of the different major verticals to help you create your lookalike audiences. So you have a head start against really anybody else doing marketing in any category to get started on Facebook advertising. But Moving on, we're going to start with our ad. So let's get into our ad. So inside your ad, what you wanna do is you wanna scroll down here and I generally like doing single image or video. I prefer doing video ads over anything else. Video ads are, you know, if a picture tells a thousand words, a video tells a thousand images, right? So it's like a million words. So it's pretty useful and this is what we're going to focus on. So we go down here and what we're gonna do is we want to upload a video if possible. Now generally speaking, I like taking videos that are already public, that are already in kind of public use somewhere because you know, if they're on the internet, I like using them. One place that I go to to get videos is Pond5 and you can, you can buy videos on Pond5 and you can you know, just type in weight loss and you can you know, get a video from here. You know, I'll just download this one with the, with the logo in it and we'll upload it. Okay, so I just downloaded it and, and just for your information, I'm using an extension for Chrome called FVD Downloader, Flash Video Downloader right here. And I use that to download videos from really anywhere on the internet. So this is, this is what I'm using. So I should have got this video by now and let's upload it to Facebook. Okay, so then we upload our video and I'm just gonna Upload, the video's having a little hard time downloading right now, so I'm just gonna upload a random, random video right here. And, well the upload's gonna take a little time, so that's the annoying part. But basically the video processes, and then you go down here and enter your text. Now what I prefer to do for affiliate marketing text is I like to take information straight from the advertiser. So we can see here, on the page we were originally advertising, which is the, for the flat belly fix, they give us, it says click for email swipe. And I would just click there for the email swipe and I would get some information on what to write on Facebook, okay? Now, keep in mind, just a disclaimer, is that Facebook doesn't necessarily like weight loss products to be advertised anymore. I actually advise against advertising weight loss products on Facebook, but I'm just using this as an example. If you're looking for other niches to advertise as an affiliate, I, I suggest you use a pre-sell page and I suggest you advertise non-weight loss niches. If you want more information on getting pre-sell pages or if you wanna get pre-sell pages, you can either create your own, you can rip them from an affiliate, or you can join my six week training course and you will get over a dozen high converting pre-sell pages that are compliant with Facebook advertising. Okay, but for this, we're gonna put our headline right there and we are going to use some of the email copy that we get here and we would put this in the primary text. You see what I did? So just I just wanna go over. I'm in the swipe file for the flat belly fix, okay? 
and I'm getting copying one of their emails. I'm copying one of their emails, copy to Facebook, okay? I'm in Facebook, my video, which should be my weight loss video is uploading, and I'm going to paste my text here, okay? Now, what I would do if I were really doing affiliate marketing for this product, okay? And again, Facebook does not like affiliate links, but what I would do is I would put my pre-sell page link here and we would do a link sort of like this. So I'd put my pre-sell page link here, weightlosssecrets.com and I'd put my link in the description there and I would also take this link because let's say this is the website I registered, I'd place this link right there, okay? And that is how I would do my ad. Now for fast purposes, I'm just going to Browse the library. I'm going to find a stock image and woman. And here we can preview what our ad would look like. So let's wait for the preview to load. So now we have our ad fully set up. We see we have our page, which I already set up, which we're advertising on. We have our ad copy, our text. If we click see more, we can see that our ad kind of has the you know, it has a beautiful image. It has one cup tomorrow morning burns three pounds of belly fat. That's a great headline. These are obviously extremely high converting headlines in the email swipes. And all we would do now is we would launch our ad. We'd click confirm to launch our ad. You know, we weren't advertising a weight loss product, which I'm using in the example. Now there are plenty of niches you can advertise an affiliate, but once again, you need a pre-sell page. Now there are plenty of products you can advertise as an affiliate marketer if you want to get into my industry, but again, you need a pre-sell page. Now if you're doing e-commerce or Amazon, you can put in your Amazon link there, your Shopify link there, you can put in your, your own website link if you're selling consulting, or if you're working for a client, you can put their website link in there. But that is the soup to nuts Facebook advertising. There isn't much to it but there's a lot of ways you can go wrong. I suggest you get very targeted and you target audiences of anywhere from 100,000 to 250,000 when you get started. As you saw, we narrowed down our audience quite quickly through the process of research and looking at what our competitors are doing advertiser-wise. So it's really quite easy. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big fat like and subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. Looking forward to seeing you in future videos and comment below if you learned something from this. Let me know what was the most useful part of this video. Was it, was it the ad set targeting? Was it the, you know, was it the ad and the creative process? Was it the research? process or was it understanding about lookalike and custom audiences or Facebook pixels? Let me know in the comments below what you found the most interesting and also let me know if there are future subjects that you'd like to see me teach on on this channel. And for those of you who are looking to take your life to the next level, I have a six week course I've created multiple millionaires from and I get fully transparent showing you how I've been able to make these stacks of cash that I've been Keep it on my desk to motivate you to show you how much money you can make as a marketer. Okay, as a marketing professional, you can make the sky is the limit. And I hope to see some of you become students of mine so I can help you out and take your life and career to the next level. Talk to you soon.